brought to you by the biggest real-time strategy game on a fully persistent MMO galaxy, Nova Saturno. Play against thousands of other players in an endless universe of galaxies where your strategic decisions have real consequences. Coming this spring, you can help back Nova Saturno on Kickstarter or learn more at novasaturno.com. Hey guys, I'm Brandon Farmahini and here's some news. Now, don't get deja vu, but EA has been hit with a class action lawsuit that alleges they artificially inflated their stock by misleading investors about the quality of Battlefield 4, and that several of their senior executives at the company took that opportunity to offload stock while it was at its peak. This is an entirely different case than the one we reported last week, though it bears several striking similarities. The suit is being brought up against the video game publisher by law firm Robin Scaler Rudman and Dowd LLP on behalf of stockholders who purchased EA Common Stock between July 24th and December 4th, the same date range in the other case that's being investigated. Hmm, weird. This case also alleges that EA misled investors about the quality of Battlefield 4, but goes further by claiming that at least five senior executives offloaded a combined 164,000 shares of their stock between July 25th and August 19th when it was at its highest, which could very well indicate SEC fraud. EA stock peaked in August in anticipation of the game's upcoming release, and EA even raised its financial expectations on October 29th when the game launched. But the game came out with game-breaking bugs across all platforms, and on December 4th, EA announced that work on all Battlefield content would be halted until the bugs were fixed. That may have sounded like good news to gamers, but it's a nightmare for investors. EA stock dipped 7.3% overnight, putting it down 25% from its August peak. EA denies the claims that they intentionally misrepresented the game in an effort to artificially inflate their stock. They say, quote, we believe these claims are meritless. We intend to aggressively defend ourselves and we're confident the court will dismiss the complaint in due course. I don't know why, but all lawyers to me sound like they're from the South. Moving on, it's only been a few weeks since Steam's autumn sale wrapped up on December 3rd, but already their winter sale is underway and will continue until January 3rd. As is usual for Steam sales, there are long-term, daily, and eight-hour flash sales all running on different games, offering up to 80% off. Today's notable sales include Dishonored, Bioshock Infinite, and Dead Island, all 75% off. And notable long-term sales are headlined by Airport Simulator 2014 and Woodcutter Simulator 2013, which are actually real games, and they're both 50% off. As far as games you might have heard of, Dive Kick is 75% off, in case you want to practice for a potential future showdown on the gauntlet. Arma 2 is 50% off, Don't Starve is 66% off, the Fallout collection containing Fallout, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics is 75% off, Dark Souls is 66% off, Civilization 5 is 50% off, Portal 2 is 50% off, and Kerbal Space Program is 33% off. And don't even get us started on the 8-hour sales because by the time you see this, they'll probably be totally different. A particular note before we move on is the fact that Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for PC is available for 33% off as a part of the sale, even though it won't be out until January 9th. Previously, Konami has been reluctant to offer a specific date, but now both Steam and Amazon have, so you could start getting excited. Next up, Dead Rising 3's Operation Broken Eagle DLC, which is originally announced for Christmas Eve release, but Capcom has decided to delay the content until January 21st to give them further time to work on it. Quote, to ensure we provide the best possible experience for players, we are putting a few additional weeks of polish and testing into the episode before its release, end quote. In the upcoming DLC, you will play as a special ops commander tasked with saving the President of the United States from becoming Zombie Dinner. Additionally, the DLC will score you six new weapons, a new outfit, and an extra vehicle to use as a zombie pancake maker. Last but not least, upcoming Xbox One puzzle game Max The Curse of Brotherhood is getting the last minute bump in its release window. The game was previously expected in early 2014, but Microsoft has announced today that it will be hitting Xbox One tomorrow on December 20th instead. The game is being billed as a reimagining of 2010's Max and the Magic Marker, which came out for practically every platform except Xbox. No, seriously, it was available on WiiWare, DS, Mac, Windows, iOS, and Windows Phone. But after Microsoft bought the Danish studio Press Play last year, they've been working on the title. In the game, you'll play as the title character Max, who sets out on a mission to rescue his younger brother, who's been kidnapped after Max wished him away. Very labyrinthish, really. Unlike Labyrinth, Max uses a magic marker that actually is magic to draw his way through obstacles on his journey. The game is also planned for release on Xbox 360, but the date has not yet been announced. And that's all the news for today. What games are you planning on picking up in the Steam sale? Or will you use it as a last-minute holiday shopping opportunity for the gamer in your life? 
Let us know in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com for the newest episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch. Thank you.